what is going on YouTube welcome back to the channel uh, this is a redo of a video I already made but something happened to my SD card so I lost all the video but uh, what happened is last week I started working on this thing again all of this was snow so we had a couple 60 degree days this got all cleared out I actually had to dig this thing out so there was snow all over here, all over the ground. I had to shovel everything out of here, and get it all cleaned up. Uh, and what I did is uh, put the carburetor back on. So I could take it back off and act like I didn't put it all on and stuff like that, but we're not gonna do that here. So I'll show you what I did uh, last week and explain a couple things. Fire it up and uh, show you what's going on. So first off, put the battery back in it. In fact, we're gonna hook the uh, power back up on it. I just had these uh, off, I'm just gonna slide them back on. But put the battery back in, bolted it in. Obviously got the power. Uh, carburetor got hooked back up, got the fuel, got the line to the distributor for the vacuum advance, PCV. And uh, something additionally that I did was, before I put it on, I took the time and I figured out the mechanism on here. So this was all jammed up. This wasn't hooked up to anything before, um, before being when I put it back together in the garage. So it was having some issues actuating and I didn't know why. Um, so I took, took it all apart again. It took me like about an hour and a half to figure out what was going on, honestly, because I I don't know what is going on um, and what I got now is nice smooth actuation there the choke opens up nice secondaries opens up nice um, the downside is this is called a divorce choke I had no idea what it's called before uh, there's electric choke divorce choke and there might be some other ones but um, the deal with this one from what I understand now, is there should be on the factory intake, there should be a little box here that has a rod that goes up to this guy that when it's heated, it'll push this open and you can see it opens a choke up. So that goes like that. And then it allows, um, when it's warmed up, allows more air in, this allows less air in, more fuel. Um, that's just how the choke works. So with this intake, this, choke setup is not going to work i would have taken it apart and make an electric choke which we're not going to do um if if anything i'll probably just put a holly on it i might just leave it um it seems to run okay with it i did drive it around town for a little bit um that's about all i did i didn't really do anything else in here you can see it's it's not the prettiest engine bay um but it gets a job done for right now uh i do have some plans to fix some stuff in here but uh for right now this is what we're working with so it hasn't been started since last week and so it is going to take a little bit to turn it over especially since that choke doesn't really work that great so we're going to cross our fingers here and uh get it hopefully fired up for you i don't have my tack set up i gotta get that hooked back up in there super happy that uh well it runs because i had no idea if this thing would be leaking fuel all over not running at all but uh 
very, very stoked that it is running. This is one very minor thing that needed to get done in the list of things that need to get done is just growing and growing. Um, as you can see, the interior is pretty much out of this thing. Just seats, um, no headliner. Well, there's a headliner base, but I peeled it off. Uh, the door panels are out, dashes out of it for the most part, the dash covers out of it. The, there's just like an upper cover in these trucks if you don't know. The door panels, these are just a bunch of screws. I uh, redid some of the wiring. All the windows work now. I put new window motors in uh, last year. I think it was last year. But got to do all window, mo new window motors all installed. But uh, happy it's uh, up and running. So it's got voltage, good voltage, got oil pressure, temp sensor is uh, apparently broken. It was working not working anymore it was hooked up so I'll have to check that out figure out why that's not working but super stoked to be able to hopefully get this thing cleaned up a little bit take it out some more this year because it got pretty neglected the past two years essentially I haven't driven it much it'd be neat to get it back on the road you know so anyway that's a little update for right now and uh I don't really have much else going on with it or planned. Oh, I got that big old Chevy hood there. Uh, yeah, not much else planned for right now. It's uh, just is what it is, you know. It's, it's my big old truck. Glad it's running. Don't know what to do next other than everything. On that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, you know all that stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Square Bodies for Life.